Well, it's time to anti-foul, or is it? Uh, I've only uh, been in the water for a bit over 12 months. The last time I slipped, I used Altec number five plus, and it still looks pretty good. The only reason I'm really slipping and anti-fouling is uh, I'm heading to Tassie and I want everything to be right, but I'm pretty sure the bottom of the boat's gonna be quite clean, so we'll have a look at it when we haul out and uh, give it a wash. The thing is, um, I am giving Bruce a hand to slip his boat next week, He's got Altec on his boat too. He uses Vivid, which is a hard anti-foul. The uh, number five is a, an ablative anti-foul. Bruce has been in the water for two and a half years, so it's going to be interesting to see what his anti-foul is like after all that time. Anyway, we'll pull the boats out, have a look at them, and uh, I'll give you a look at uh, how we prepare it. I'm going to do my boat the quick way because uh, I think I've still got a fair bit of paint on there, so I'm going to give it a, um, a quick rub up and an anti-foul. Uh, it's the way a lot of the, the uh, professionals do it here, so we'll try that out. And then we'll rub Bruce's boat uh, right back and uh, spray his anti-foul on. So it'll be something for you to have a look at. I hope the weather finds up a bit because um, it's not really great to be on the hard stand at the moment, that's for sure. Well, we don't wear skimpy bikinis. Hell, it frightens me when I take my shirt off. There's definitely no one pregnant here. This is motor sailing for old dudes. We do live on a boat, and we do cruise extensively along the Australian coast. Join us and visit some great destinations. Learn how to look after a boat and live off grid. It might even get you enthused to do the same thing. Hey, stay out there till you can't. pretty clean, just a little bit of uh, mud on it really, no barnacles, no barnacles whatsoever, a little bit on the rudders, and the top is definitely gone. say that uh, LTEC number 5 plus looks pretty good for uh, about 14 months in the water, not one barnacle on the uh, hull, a few on the rudders get flown off there a little bit, but um, yeah, look pretty pretty happy with that uh, number 5 plus, I reckon it's pretty good anti power, so we'll definitely go with that again, uh, put a bigger coat on, I reckon I get two years out of it next time for sure, um, probably didn't need to do it this time, anyhow, we're up here, we'll put some more paint on. Okay, so uh, I'm on the hard. The first job I've got to do is uh, get a bit of product because I need to polish the hulls of the boat. And to do that, I've come to see Jeff at uh, Cleaner Works. He knows what I'll need to use to get the job hey, done. Hey, there you go, Jeff, how are you? Good to see you. Haven't seen you for a while, yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. How you been keeping? Yeah, pretty good. How's the boat? Yeah, well, 
Time to end, fell, mate. That's why I'm here. Okay, we'll talk about some products. I'm with Jeff from Cleaterworks, and um, I've hauled out. I'm ready to end, fell. Now, Jeff, uh, my gel coat has got a little bit of stain in that on it. What products would you recommend I use? I want to uh, take that stain off and polish the gel coat. What would you recommend I use for that? I'd use my gel coat clean and restore a wash. Yeah. It's biodegradable, won't harm anything. Yeah. Mix it one to one with water, wash the hull, and it'll remove all the brown mineral stain. If I use that, it's going to take all the wax out of it. That's correct. So yeah. what do we do then? So you want to cut and polish it. Yep. We've got a product called Power Wax, yep. which is a cut and a wax in one. Yep. It'll restore the shine yep. and also put a wax protective coating on. Okay, no worries. Well, that looks like I want Now, look, the other thing is, I've got a little bit of stainless, it's a bit rusty. Have you got anything I can use on that? You're at Cleaner Works, we've got everything. <laughs> You're going to use my rust off gel. Okay. Brush it on, one to two mil thick, yeah. give it 40 to 60 minutes soak time, yep. rust is gone. Well, that's handy being a gel because it'll hang that's on right. where the other stuff yeah. it goes all over. Actually, I've used the uh, restorer on the stainless and it works all right, but you do tend to get a bit of overspray in places right. you don't want, so that'll be good. The beauty with the rust off being a gel, yeah. it doesn't run or sag on any other surface. Yeah, okay. All right, now, um, Jeff, you distribute from here, so if I want to buy this stuff, where am I going to go? In this local area, Marine Trade Supplies at the Boatworks. At Boatworks, that's where I'm hauled out, so. I'll go and see Marine Trade Supplies and they've got it on the shelf. The boys over there have got my full range. Fantastic. Thanks, Norm. Thanks for the info, mate. Works gel cloak cleaner and restorer. And it works pretty well. I just spray it on. And then give it a tickle up with a brush. See so it really pulls those stains out of gel coat, great stuff. And then you just hose it off. Okay, we're just prepping up the anti-fowl. And we've never done it this way before. We've always either wet sanded it or uh, dry sanded it with a vacuum. Um, but a few of the pros in the yard do it this way. All we're using is a abrasive Scotch bright cloth virtually. Uh, I'm using it on an articulated head so it makes it really easy to get down underneath the boat and it seems to be pulling it up pretty well so this is the quick way of doing it. Um, not as messy. Not as messy so uh, yeah we'll uh, battle on with this and I reckon we'll knock this off in an hour or so and uh, be ready to go any felt so that's pretty good going. Well, job's uh, done. Let's dry out now, and uh, looks like even the weather's going to fine up a bit. We we'll get some anti fowl on tomorrow, mate. Well, you never know what you might find when you're anti fowl. It was going to be a really quick job. You're just going to get it out. You probably would have been looking at uh, getting some anti fowl on this afternoon, but found a little bit of osmosis in the hulls. And what's happening here, I'm pretty sure, 100% sure actually. I've got um, integral water tanks in the boat. So there's a water tank here and there's another one on the other side. We found a little bit of osmosis on both sides. And I think with the water on the inside, the water on the outside, I think the water from the tanks is actually leaching into the, uh, the layer. 
because we've got epoxy on the outside of this and that doesn't let anything through. So what we've done, I've drained the tanks, we've ground all this back, we're going to fill it, fix that up, and then what I'm going to have to do is make some standalone tanks to go in the boat from the, for our water. Uh, I really wanted to do that back when I was building the boat and I got talked into doing it a different way and I'm sorry I did it now. I, th I think water tanks should be um, not integral to the hull because you do have that problem where you might have the water getting in through the, uh, the fiberglass layer. Anyway, I think we caught it pretty quick so that's good. There's a couple of bubbles we've ground out so we'll fix them up. But the thing is to uh, stop it happening again and the best way to do that, I've got drained all the integral tanks and we'll fit a couple of, uh, of standalone tanks uh, for our water. So it's going to put us back a little bit so it'll be a little bit more mucking around so a bit later heading to Tassie I guess. Anyway, that's what boats are about, fixing things. So we've done it all with epoxy so that that gives you a waterproof barrier too so the epoxy is pretty well impervious to uh, the ingress of water and the water problem I've had here has come from inside my tanks that weren't epoxy but some other sort of paint. But um, yeah, at least doing it this way we have a pretty good waterproof um, coating on the outside of the hull. We're putting wet on wet, basically. It's, you'll just allow it to go go off, but still be tacky, and that'll give a much better bond. job a coat of epoxy and we've just got to wait for that to go off now so we've used fast cure hardener but it's a pretty cold day today so it's just taken a little while for it to go off but we just run into a bottleneck now we can't really do much till this um, cures up it might be after lunch and then uh, we'll be able to mini guard it and get some anti fail on so it's just a matter of waiting around Okay, it's uh, time for the uh, trough clean. So here's a little trick, before I anti foul, got all this exposed shaft, I put my anode on, a bit of duct tape, just wrap it around the shaft. Now I anti foul that. When I hoil it next time, cut that off and you don't have to clean your shaft up. Good trick. So how's it going, Brucey? Any uh, paint in your beard yet? Uh, I don't know. It looks, looks pretty good at the moment. What I don't know won't hurt me. <laughs> Alright, we're going to put a 
We're using Eltex number 5 plus. Well, we just spent the last uh, three hours putting two can coats of uh, anti foul on. So uh, we've got that on, we just took the tape off and I'll spend tomorrow and the next day polishing the gel coat. That'll be fun. But um, yeah, at least the repairs are done, so we've got that kit. Looks really fair uh, and I'm happy that we found that. And um, yeah, it's practically finished gold again. So um, just a bit of polishing, make it look a bit nicer and keep the stains off it. And, uh, back in the water Monday and then on to Bruce's boat. We're into the polishing and uh, the best thing about using Cleanerworks product is Jeff's business is not very far from here. So he came down this morning and told me exactly what to do. He had a look at uh, the gel coat. He said, yeah, you won't need to use uh, a cutting compound. Just go with super sealant. So um, that's what I'm doing. Well, I'm on the last little bit. Just got from here to the end of the boat to do. And uh, that's about it, all the polishing's done. Whew. It's um, pretty hard work, uh, especially underneath the hole where you're doing upside down and buffing. It makes it pretty hard. I've got to put the polish on here, then I've got to start at the front and buff it all off. Another hour or so, and uh, the polishing's finished, and a few other little jobs to do, and then we're ready to go back in the water and do it all over again with Bruce next week. The joys of owning a boat. The best thing about being on the hard is going back into the water. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Next week we'll be uh, pulling Bruce's boat out and doing it a different way.